Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. On the last episode, we helped these two unfortunate people trapped by some bokoblins in, uh, in that house. And I have to admit, I don't remember if we got anything from them. I think they were just kind of teaching us how to shield surf. Which, uh, I mean, I kind of already know how to do, but that's okay. Um, I also remember, uh, sorry, it's, I don't, did I mention, I don't know. I don't know, my brain doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, but it's been a while since I played, so I've forgotten just about everything. <laughs> I, I, uh, I do these little recaps not only to help uh, people get up to speed if they need it, although I, I recognize that in the future people might just be watching this as part of a playlist. Hello, I don't want that. Nope, nope, goodbye. No. Uh, but also it just kind of helps helps my brain get its momentum going. Uh, uh, nuts. Uh, can you, can you not? Can you, uh, please, cease. For the love of God, please, stop. Okay, alright, Jesus. I'm leaving, I'm, go I'm leaving your house, please. Alright, cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I, mm, okay, alright. The, the the panic has passed. I now have to... Uh, the geoglyph. We found the geoglyph. Yes. Uh, I, I assume similarly to last time we have to like go to its eye. We have to find where that is. Uh, at the moment I, I cannot see any indication of what direction the eye would be. Although... Uh, what is this? That looks kind of tear-like. Yeah? Oh, yay! Huzzah! I was correct. Alright, great. Will we will learn this time from what I still assume is Zelda's memory. As I thought, this is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone, and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. A secret stone. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Oh. Uh. I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. What does soon even mean when you can time travel? In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there, but how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> What was that? He was thinking. Now, Zelda dear. Oh, you don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a, a distant relative of ours. I mean, I guess that's <laughs> not untrue. It's true, after all. Yes. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. A few tens of thousands of years distant, but yes. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. Oh. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. 
She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. The older sister, huh? Okay. It, is the secret stone really just what it's called? I gotta be honest, that, that sounds a bit less impressive and mystical than I would have thought. Not even like a time stone or anything like that, even though they they hold the power of time. Okay. I don't know, maybe time stone would have been a little too cliche. And they kind of did that already. Weren't time stones the thing in Skyward Sword that lets you create little time bubbles? Whatever the case, uh, I guess... Yeah, like we still don't really have a time frame for when exactly that was. I, I, I think... If I'm remembering that it's been a while since I've played Breath of the Wild, uh, but if I'm remembering it correctly, Ocarina of Time happened about 10,000 years before Breath of the Wild, because that was when uh, the... I think it was in Mipha's diary, I think? Where she said something uh, like, you know, a, a Zora princess falling in love with a Hylian soldier was not, or a Hylian swordsman was not unprecedented, and she referenced Princess Ruto. Uh, and I think she said that was like, either that was 10,000 years previously, or like there was some other oblique mention of 10,000 years previously, I don't remember. Either way, I, I, I still think it's, it's gotta be many, many thousands of years back that Zelda's been sent. Inexplicably, we still don't really understand exactly why, other than our our new uh, time MacGuffin, I suppose. Well, I guess they're not even necessarily MacGuffins, because we don't have a reason to seek them out, I suppose? I don't know. The, the Magatama is what I discovered they were called. Um, but whatever they are, it seems that uh, Zelda has one, and Sonya has one. It's a little unclear to me if it's meant to be, like, the same one that has been passed down through the royal family. Although the fact that Zelda seems to have no idea where hers came from indicates to me that either it's not that, or it's kind of like, uh, you know, the, the mystical powers inherent to the royal family, you know, where it's just sort of passed down, but it's not necessarily something that they're aware of. They have to unlock that ability, I suppose. I don't know. Mysteries abound. Either way, let's go shoot ourselves into the sky again. That sounds like a good time. Ooh! And we're pretty close to that, uh, the big, uh, cumulonimbus, I suppose it probably was. The Skyward Sword reference floating in the sky. Uh, I sure do miss wind bombing. That was pretty fun. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? It sounded like something was creaking. What's going on over here? Oh, are you? Uh, that's that's Hudson. Yeah. You have my support. Hello. What are you doing? Eck. Addison. Oh. Whoa, darn it all! President Hudson, are you okay? President Hudson, huh? Has he taken over the Bolson Company? Oh no, what have I done? You dropped a sign on my head. I'm sorry, President Hudson, I won't let you fall over again. You should be apologizing to me, you literally dropped that directly on top of me. I mean, I shouldn't have been standing so close to it, but... Uh, you know, consumer protection laws have not been invented in Hyrule, so... Whatever. Uh, that was unforgivable. It's all your fault, startling me like that. I kind of think it's your fault for, like, holding that here in the middle of nowhere. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable! Uh, you know I could just pull out my spear and thwack you and nobody would know, right? President Hudson? You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Sorry, what's all this? 
hey, I'm right in the middle of Pres President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Yeah, did President Hudson happen to mention how I basically built Terrytown for him from the ground up? Or at least I brought him all the materials and people? Uh, well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want to get the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. Uh, you know, it helps to, like, you can put that in the ground so you don't have to just, like, hold it there forever. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. Ah, so he's built a cult of personality, it seems. <laughs> I pledge to support him. No need to worry that I might suffer in this cold. I've eaten a special rice ball that I made that helps me withstand it. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll, leave it to I'll leave you to it. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Bro, you didn't even give me a chance. <laughs> Brother Hudson, I'll support you. Okay, alright, hold on. Can I, can I glue something to him? No. Um, okay. Do I use the, the recall? No, that doesn't... Wow, this is a really remarkable sign. It's totally immune to uh, whatever magic technology we're using in our Ultra Hand. I, actually, we don't know what it's called. The Ultra Hand is just that specific functionality. I... I we don't... We don't know what this... What the arm itself is actually called. But... Whatever. Oh, nuts. Hey, man, can you put that sign down and, like, build a bridge or something? I don't wanna... Fine. All right. I'll do it myself. Hold on. Can I? Can I just like take the whole bridge up? No, I guess not. Hey. Oh well. I guess I can uh, rebuild it from the bottom then, can't I? All right. Give me a minute. Is that enough pieces? I don't know. I guess let's find out. That is too many pieces, in fact. Okay, um... Interesting. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Can I... I guess I'll just... Whatever. I just do not care at this point. I'm just gonna... Just gonna keep building. I, honestly, I, it's probably not even gonna be here the next time I come around. Anyway, it's gonna despawn, the Blood Moon's gonna come through and friggin' wipe out the bits that stores this thing in, in my Switch. I don't care. I just want to get to that tower. <laughs> I don't know why I'm in such a, a, a glumpy mood right now. I'm not actually- oh no! Nuts. Alright, fine, I'll do it properly. Jesus. Nuts. I guess it's not grumpy, it's just like... I don't want to. I don't want to work. <laughs> I just... I already... I worked hard today, and I don't want to come home and do more work. Especially since Goofus over there is just like... holding that sign up instead of... presumably doing his job. Well, I guess he was commissioned by... THE President Hudson himself. To... to hold that sign here... forever. I... I don't... Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I swear to God, if that despawns in the time it takes me to just go over there and just help this guy out real quick, I'm gonna be mailed. So, I guess... Can I, like, prop this up somehow? Why did you... You guys are, like, professional builders, right? Why'd you make it so unbalanced? Oh! Friggin' duh. That's fine, right? Let go. Oh, 
my god. Okay, alright. Alright. Okay, that should be good enough. And if it's not, it sucks to suck. <laughs> Yeah? You good? How's the president standing? What? What do you, what do you mean, how's he standing? There's giant metal boxes right there! Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Bro, it... It's it comes with a stake. There's a stake on it. Just put it in the ground. It's the what? <laughs> with your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Thank you. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work. Let me give you a little something I made myself. Okay. Great. Still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. Alright. And with that, I'm off. Well, you know what? Thank you. I I appreciate it. I I do still feel like I feel like this is wrong. I just I I wanna just stick it in the ground with my ultra hand, but I can't. The game won't let me. Okay, now that we've sorted out dingus over there, let's uh see if we can finally take care of this tower. This, uh, doesn't seem to be going well. I bet I'm supposed to, like, make a full bridge. I need to reach my friend. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Can I, can I glue this into the ground, like the other one? Oh, this one's already attached. Oh, okay, I see. Alright. Much easier than I was making it out to be. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, but it'll have to do, I think. I need to reach my friend. Aw, oh, my friend and I got separated. I see that. Having supplies that outweigh you by at least two times is probably not helping. Sending up a smoke signal. Can't wait to catch up. Can't move. Alright, well, then let's go. Uh, I guess that does raise the question of how well I can actually walk up this bridge. I gotta say I'm not hopeful, but... Oh, it seems to be going alright. No. Alright, I'll just glue him up there. Don't worry, we're almost there. Oh, no! You and I can both preserve our pride by never speaking of this again. Okay, I made it. Mishaps aside, um... Uh... Oh, please. Oh, <laughs> where did he go? Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little Korok. Oh my God! All right. Okay, hold up. Stop. <laughs> this is a disaster. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm working on that. Thank you. Oh my god, that Bokoblin. Oh, now there's somebody else that needs my help. Alright, hold on, Korok. I will be right back. How are you doing, buddy? Hmm, I appreciate the rescue, but it's hardly necessary for a foe like that. Battle process is a show of appreciation. I just stabbed him in the butt while you distracted him. I would hardly call that prowess, but thank you. Ooh, we fill some stamina meter. That's nice. Monster hunter of some small renown, spend my days traveling the lands of Hyrule in pursuit of a myriad of prey. At the request of a fellow named Colton, I'm uh, presently hunting bubble frogs, mysterious cave-dwelling creatures. I've heard that one such beast lurks in a cave in this very region. Question is, which cave? Uh, I don't know. Have fun. Yay! All right, good. Is this a Korok? It looks a little Korok-ish. No? Okay. Speaking of Koroks, how am I to get our little friend back up to... Oh god. 
there's a blue There's too many distractions. I'm sorry. Hold on, please. All right, but like, actually, how am I supposed to get back up? Can I state uh, the recall this thing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I just summoned three Lizalfos to come and kill me. I'm so happy right now. Can I just like not screw this? How do I get my friggin? <laughs> I should have just recalled him. I should have just recalled him off the cliff. Uh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I will get. I. I swear to God, this is my life's mission right now. I will get you to your friend. I promise, little Korok. I just need to not be bad at the video game for like 10 minutes. Please. Brain. <laughs> hey, Bobby! Play that one about falling down the stairs! Sure thing, Johnny! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> this is a disaster. This is an utter and complete disaster. But, I do see something that might help us. So, this... I think just fell from the sky. So theoretically, I think I think this could work. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> this is absolutely scuffed. <laughs> No. Okay, I did not think that through. Oh my God. No. This poor guy. God. I I can only imagine he is severely regretting asking me for help at this point. This seems like a really bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's not like things can get much worse from- you know what? I shouldn't say that. I just should not say that. That is not true. Things could absolutely get worse from here. <laughs> no! 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 Where the heck even am I? Hold on. Hold on. We can do this. I intended to just let this Korok despawn and try it again. Because F this. <laughs> wow. Hey, you know what? That seems to be working out okay. Oh! Spoke too soon. Uh, now we're right back where we started! Oh, I'm so happy right now! I am just so pleased at this turn of affairs. Please forgive me, little one. I will be back, I promise, but I cannot do this anymore. Also, have fun with that, uh, the, 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 the ice choo-choo. That's the one. Thank you, brain. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I, I want to explore that. I, I also want to rescue that Korok. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, okay, here's my plan. I'm gonna go to the, the, the tower. I'm gonna unlock the map. Then I'm going to talk to his friend in the hopes that that will reload the other one. And he'll be like, oh, my friend is sending up a smoke signal. Right? And that'll, like, reset the one that I've been abusing for the last few minutes, like, that'll put him back where he's gonna be found, uh, and then from there I can reunite them from the one that's higher up, and, uh, I, and then I can just drop down, uh, and I might even be able to just, like, huck him off the cliff, <laughs> if need be, uh, 
But yeah, no, like if we do that, then hopefully it'll be easier and we don't have to abandon little Korok. Ooh, what's, uh, what's going on here? Also, I have no idea where I am anymore. I've, I've lost track of the tower. I notice we are like directly under that big storm. And there appear to be like a whole bunch of ruins here and such like. But, uh, oh, oh no. Hmm, I could take him. Oh! Nuts. Oh! This is not going well, I must admit. Oh, man. Oh, there's another one, too. I'm not really sure I want to fight these guys for an opal. Ow. I don't know what it's actually going to be. But, from what I've seen so far, chances are good it's open. It's an open. Oh! <laughs> wow, that was a good one. <laughs> Funny ragdoll! <laughs> that one wasn't as funny. I didn't mean to do that! Slam this guy against the wall. Okay, I, it works. Sturdy wooden stick has high durability. That's great. Glad to hear it. Oh no. Great. I didn't have to fight these guys, did I? Nope. It appears not. With the attached donor devices, it slightly increases attack power. Okay. I... I... I imagine probably not, because, like, Zonai devices have been sort of... been shown to be, like, a specific class of object. Uh, it has been strengthened to allow more powerful shots. Okay, nice. Uh, but I was thinking, like, do these construct parts count as Zonai devices for those sorts of things? I imagine probably not. It's probably things like, you know, wings and, uh, like the mobile pots and things like that. But, I don't know. Oh, was that it? Way over there? That can't be it, can it? It can be it. Oh my god, how did we get so far away? There's, there's no way! There's just no way! How did I get all the way over here? I was searching for the tower. Because the, the Korok was right next to it. Yeah, like, that's... Dude. Dude. What did I do? <laughs> I'm so lost right now. If only I had a map! Uh, this episode has been a catastrophe. Oh well, I hope it makes for funnies. Am I insane? How did I how did I even get Oh, you know what? I wonder if I was heading towards the tower in this region. I guess I must have been, because there's absolutely no way we traveled that far while searching for this tower. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Well, whatever. It's a tower. I'll take it. Also, I'll take Sahiro. Sahiro. Sa Sa this one. I'll take the shrine. I'll, I'll get the, the health that's inside of it. I don't want to waste my food. Aid from above. Okay. What does that mean, exactly? That's probably going to kill me. Definitely doesn't look friendly. Can I break it? Some. You know what? I'm just gonna respawn right over there anyway, so let's just. What? 
Oh, I see. Okay. Well, lesson learned. Okay. Well, this is an interesting puzzle. Oh man, I was hoping to put it away in time. Oh well. Uh, now what? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. This looks a bit more secrety. Haha, <laughs> thought so. All right. Hmm. All right. Cool. I'll take it. That's not good. Oh, it's fine. Uh, what do? How do I... How do I not get screwed over by this one? if I have to be, like, close enough to the end. I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do it, but it worked, so that's how I was supposed to do it, I suppose. I noticed during the cutscene that, uh, uh, Rauru has pretty short legs. It's Kind of surprising, actually. But we won't hold that against him. Okay, so I refuse to have this episode be me just completely failing at getting a Korok 20 feet away up a cliff. So I'm gonna get that tower. Uh, and then... and then we'll call it an episode from there. This is standing out to me. Are we summoning the Riders of Rohan? Oh, I guess it's just marking a cave entrance. Okay. I wonder if I can light my arrows... No. Oh, wait! Aha! Good to know. Okay. Um... We'll worry about that later. Uh, I just... I want to get to the thing. Oops! I forgot, uh, shield. I see... It appears you cannot surf on something that's been fused. Which, I suppose that makes enough sense. It's now a lot less n nicely shaped for shield surfing, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Oh boy. More of this. Ross Pro Pass Skyview, Skyview Tower. Okay, great. Hmm. Can't just be easy, can it? Great. I'm glad I did that. There's... I forget what it is. What? Where is it? There's something that lets me make fire arrows. I don't think I have... Oh, there they are. Pinecone. Contains oil and burns well. Throw into a fire to increase the intensity of the flame. That's... Interesting. Why would I want to do that? I mean, aside from fire good, the general gamer mentality, is there like a specific benefit to having more intense fires? What? Oh, there we go. Alright. Cool. Cool. 
Should I skip through these? It seems to be like basically the same cutscene every time. I don't mind leaving them in if that's what people would want. I don't know. I just figured if it's the same thing every time, I might as well just skip through them. I don't know. I'll leave this one in. And if anyone uh, has an opinion, they can let me know down below. Sweet. Okay. Interdasting. Alright. Cool. I'm I'm still curious about what's going on uh over yonder. I, I think it was like right around here was where the other tower was. Mmm. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. If I if I can't find it reasonably soon, then I'll just call it an episode. But if we can get to that other tower, that'd be nice. Hmm, this is bad. Easy. Alright, great. <sighs> okay. So the that doesn't look Ooh, ooh, I can use that. Hold on. Well, that's nice. Um, I'm gonna mark that. We can come to it later. I think we can make a decent amount of progress. Well, it was a bit farther than I thought, but with the help of some uh, convenient falling ruins, I was able to get here relatively easily, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the, the tower, and then we'll call it an episode. I believe I see our little Korok friend down there. Hopefully he's forgiven me for my, uh, unfortunate escapade earlier. Uh, but we'll worry about him on the next episode, I think. Um, I... let's just, let's just open this up. So, uh, on the next episode I plan to, um, well, get the Korok, and then, um, I suppose? We ought to head over to, uh, what is it? The uh, Rito Village. They, they've made a big, big fuss about things going on in Rito Village. And I do notice that the, the big storm cloud is right here. In fact, did I just get launched into the middle of it? Is that what just happened? I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's probably going to be our next bet. We ought to help them out. Uh, see what's going on there, but um, yeah, I <laughs> I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be because I spent far longer than I had hoped uh, accidentally abusing that poor Korok. But uh, hopefully it's not too long. Oh, something's going on with the labyrinth up there. That's worth checking out. Ah, too many things to explore. Anyway, we will get to that on the next episode. So until then, see you later. <laughs>